Google. Everyone uses it. It's so ubiquitous that it has become its own verb, despite Google asking people not to say they're going to Google something. It has taken on a life of its own, and despite only indexing around 4% of the internet, it is still a very powerful tool that can be used to find research and other useful stuff. You might have already heard about the ethical issues around how Google displays information, depending on a whole myriad of different factors, including algorithms, bots, advertisements, and darker things such as state-endorsed censorship. But there are some ways in which you can stop these issues from impacting on your search results. First off, consider what filters you might inadvertently be putting on your searches. Log out of any and all Google accounts, including YouTube, and erase your web history. These things will influence what Google shows you, and depending on what you're working on, this could have a huge impact. Google has a tendency to helpfully show you things similar to what you've looked for before, so it might filter out results that you haven't previously shown an interest in, but actually are exactly what you want to see. Another preloaded filter that you might not be aware of is an internet provider one. Try running searches both from home through a residential internet provider versus the same search using the university's internet. Some results that come through certain providers, and this includes a university, are pre-filtered out due to their content. Now, this might not always cause an issue, but if you are working on subject matter that might be viewed as controversial, such as terrorism, extremist beliefs, or behaviours and other such things, one internet provider might have a standard policy of limiting how far up your search results those things display. Another way in which you can strip out a lot of the noise that Google can generate in your searches is by using a more specialist version of Google, such as Google Scholar. Google Scholar focuses your searches exclusively on academic literature, which means you can avoid getting distracted by news stories or weird shopping suggestions. By logging into Google, going into your settings, selecting library links, and making sure University of Cambridge is added, you will get quick links added to your search results that will take you straight through to a version of an article that you have access to by being a member of the university. It saves a lot of time and effort, trust us. You can also use little cheat codes to get Google to work a bit harder for you. If you want Google to define a term for you that you're not familiar with, use define. If you want Google to do a phrase search for you, put your search terms into speech marks. You can search within certain domains by using in URL to search for things in university websites, for example, using the common .ac.uk domain ending that all UK universities use. You can also search within a particular website using site. This is great if you want to search, for example, the whole UK government website for particular publicly available materials. The handy code is file type, which allows you to search by certain file types. So you can search for Excel files, PDFs, and even PowerPoint presentations on your topic of choice. There are many more out there, so just Google Google search operators to get the most up-to-date list. There are quite a few additional ones that we haven't covered in this video. So enjoy hacking Google, legally, of course. Oh,